Good morning. So I am going to try to live like Rory Gilmore today. I honestly don't really have good Rory Gilmore clothing because I don't have jeans. I don't have the 2000s era kind of clothing. But there are some episodes where she wears usually like nylons, a plaid skirt, and a sweater or something. And I'm also leaving my hair down today. Usually Rory's hair is down. And I'm going to start off my morning with doing some studying. I was preparing for this assignment I was supposed to have this morning at 7.30 a.m. I applied for this really cool internship and I heard back yesterday and they basically were like, yeah, we, we'll just have to give you like this assignment of sorts to see whether this would be a good internship for you. So I signed up for the 8.30 Eastern time slot, which is 7.30 a.m. Central time. I just don't know. I don't know if they got my response in time because it's 7.45 and I just have nothing in my inbox, which is slightly stressing me out because I don't want to like go off and do other things. I feel like I need to stay right here by my email just in case. But if it's like 8.15, so 9.15, oh, I just got the email. Never mind. It should be sharing right now. You can't see it? No. Nope. Oh wait, it's doing something. Well, I just stopped sharing. Oh. Okay. Let me try again. Share this screen. It should be sharing. Okay, hold on. There, now I can see it. You can see it? Okay, good. Yeah. So what I had to do... Oh shoot, I just ended the call on her. <laughs> That was my bad. I, the, the button, since I updated my laptop are in different places and I clicked end call. So you can see my screen? Yeah. <laughs> well, hi. Oh. You're Lorelai and that's Paul Anka. <laughs> All right, I gotta let you go, I love you. I love you. All right, I'm gonna head to breakfast now and then I do have to come back to my room because I have an interview that I need to conduct actually for a journalism article that I'm doing, which is why I thought this would be a good day to do a day like Rory. But before then, I'll just get some more work done. Also, by the way, this is just a prop. Um, I'm gonna throw it out in the hallway. I just have been using it as like a little mini trash can. <laughs> There's not actually coffee in here. Also, I never even mentioned the thing that I did for the internship. I don't want to say that it went well because I think that there's a high chance that I won't actually get the internship, but it felt all right at least. I mean, I know what I'm doing, I just don't know what I have to do. <laughs> I've actually got two interviews today. Um, I'm going to be interviewing two staff members about a course that they're teaching for an upcoming article that I'm going to be writing for the college news. And I'm going to be going to a party tonight. Those are some words I don't often say. My friend is hosting a Galentine's Day party, so I'm going to go to that tonight. And I'm also going to study at a cafe because that's something Rory would definitely do. I'll be going to the library, I have class. In regards to actual work, this is the busiest time of the week because Thursdays I get a lot of homework and then I get kind of backed up. I have to fill out some financial aid forms. I have to withdraw from some law schools I know I'm not gonna go to. I have a French cultural activity that I need to fill out. I need to write a 3,500 to 5,000 word short story by just over a week from now and then I also need to write an essay on that short story explaining how perspective is operating in the piece. I have to read two acts from a play. I have to write a question on that play. I have to write a short story that's like 500 words that experiments with perspective and then I have to comment on two students 500 word stories as well explaining where the energy of it is and then also explaining what I'd like to know more about. I need to send a thank you card. I need to read about 30 pages-ish of students uh, thesis writing. There's two stories. It'll probably equal around 30 pages total. So I need to read those, I need to annotate them, and then I also need to write an essay about each one. Um, 
um, explaining my critique. And then I'm going to be getting more French homework after class today, so there will be more by this afternoon. I've finished right now most of my French homework, which is why I only have the cultural activity. Oh, and then my history reading. And then I have to write a history discussion post as well. So this is gonna be like 300 words. And then I also need to work on my history essay. There's a lot to do today. I'm going to get started. Okay, I just finished my readings and I've also just made my discussion post, which I think the maximum word count is 300. I have to check, I'm at 357 words, so I have to delete some words. But I've got 23 minutes until the interview. So I'm gonna start prepping for that. And then if I have some extra time once I finish prepping, I'm going to work on the reading for Perspectives, which is the play. It's called Interior Chinatown by Charles Yu. It looks like it's only 50 to 60 pages for the first two acts, so not bad at all. But yeah, I won't, I definitely won't be recording during any of the interview just because that's like work and it would, it would feel very wrong to record that. I'll update later after I've gotten out of the interview. Okay, I've just finished the meeting and now I'm just converting the meeting recording, which always stresses me out while I'm doing these interviews because I'm just always like, what if the Zoom doesn't record properly and I lose all of this? But every single time, I mean, knock on wood, it's not downloaded yet, but every single time it's worked out. Just in case though, I always do scratch out a ton of notes for <laughs> as many quotes as possible, just in case. It's so messy. I was trying to write as quickly as possible. for literally 40 minutes but now I'm going to the dining hall because I would much rather study with the white noise of the dining hall than um, continue to listen to that kid moan in the cubicle behind me. I'm actually first gonna stop at the store just to grab some food to bring to the party tonight so that I'm not showing up empty-handed um, and then I'm going to get some more work done. <laughs> Chips. 
done. I did my short story, 500 word story. I did my comment for history. I did half the POV reading. I finished my history reading. One of the interviews, the professor didn't show up, so I've got to reschedule. I'm thinking next Monday. I finished my thesis critiques. I just have to upload them. I feel like I did a lot today, but I feel like there's not much to cross off. It is now like 7.40 something p.m. Korean's party starts at 8 p.m. So I'm going to head over there now. I'm thinking I'm gonna walk over and then I'll Uber back because it'll be later by the time I leave. I'm on my way now. I just texted Karina and she said I'll probably be the first there and I really hope I am. I like the idea of being the first. And it's just spitting snowflakes right now. So it's really pretty. It's a little bit cold. I'm kind of annoyed that Rory wears nylons instead of wool tights like I usually wear it because I'd be a lot warmer right now if I were wearing my usual tights instead of these flimsy little nylons. Hi! Oh my gosh. You decorated so well. These are, do you make these? Yeah. <gasps> they came out so good. Yay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is adorable. I am back in my room. Rory often will watch a movie or TV series or whatever in the evening, uh, usually with her mom, sometimes with friends, with snacks and stuff. So I have some leftover popcorn here and I'm going to put on Outlander because I've been watching the Outlander series. Oh my gosh, my hair is so bad right now. I'm editing before class begins and I never even made a conclusion to this video. It was really hard to follow Rory's routine just because I don't really know her routine exactly. It's never really spelled out in the show. We just get glimpses of what she tends to do. But I hope this was really fun to watch and that you got kind of a good idea of what it might look like to live like Rory for a day, go to parties and go to cafes and all of that jazz. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful week.